Hey, what's going on everyone? Leo here with uh, Solano County announcement that was done recently this week actually about Solano County uh, businesses allow, allowing to start reopening, especially the low risk. Um, more and more businesses should be ready to reopen. The question is, are you ready? And what I mean, my question is more towards, are you ready to start letting your client, your customers know that you're going to be reopening and when you're going to be reopening and the steps you're going to be uh, taking, right, to take care of them. So as you can see, right, this is a CBS, uh, SF Bay Area, uh, News, five, Channel 5 News, or I don't know, KCB, uh, KPX, CBS 5, uh, talking about this. Um, I also did a quick search on uh, Google about Solano County reopening business, as you can see, all the, uh, you know, different local uh, news channels uh, talking about the same, right? Solano County allows to open low risk businesses, Solano County allowing to reopen retail stores, uh, etc. And you can see right the different communications. So you know this is this is coming. Also uh, you can see here the announcement from the Solano County uh, website itself, right, on May 7, saying that uh, starting May 8, low risk businesses will start will be allowed to reopen. And then you can go and read uh, if you want me to share this article, please let me know. I can send it to you. But you can start and, and read about what businesses are going to be allowed to reopen, were allowed to reopen yesterday, and and then what businesses are going to be allowed to reopen in the next phases. Also, I found a graphic that um, uh, the Solano SPDC and Workforce 11 board put together, or maybe they got it somewhere, right, to help uh, the businesses uh, or local businesses as a guide to understand, okay, what's uh, uh, what's going to be opening on phase one? What's a low risk business? And then you can see when uh, read about it, you can see some of the guidelines that, that they have put together. Uh, medium risk, right? You can see that. What does it mean? A medium risk business, high risk business, etc. So you can go and contact these businesses or, or let me know. I can put you in contact with them or organizations, as you say, right? These are uh, organizations. Um, that the whole purpose they do is to help small businesses or you can even just simply contact your city or county and they can let you know that if they have this information or if they can point you in the right direction where to get this information. Uh, yesterday I saw a guideline from the city of Vallejo uh, and it's a PDF document uh, aligning what's coming up right for uh, reopening businesses so I can definitely share that with you as well. So that's about this right the, the announcement that the uh, uh, Solano County made about reopening businesses and what are some of the uh, faces and guidelines that are going to be uh, taking place for this to happen now my next thing for you is as a business owner are you ready so I was reading this article over here from Thrive Thrive basically is a software uh, for small businesses I'm not in this article over here specifically to promote them or anything like that I can definitely share this article with you if you want to read but it's interesting what they're saying that they're, they're thinking behind it right that uh, when businesses are going to be allowed to reopen there's going to be a search of people that just want to simply get out of the house that need services um, unemployment is still coming up so they got money coming in coming on coming in uh, or people simply have saved up money because they simply cannot go anywhere so they're looking at possibly search right a flood of people to go and try to um, get services or, 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 or buy products from our local businesses so the question is are you prepared for that right um, it's, it's key for you as a small local business to over communicate to communicate as much as possible with your customers let them know what sort of uh, what sort of plan you have in place to reopen according to the local laws, right? What sort of uh, plans you have in place to keep them safe? It's it's just very simple. Grab a phone and then the key is like how you're going to communicate that, right? Grab a phone, make a video, but then how you're going to communicate that or simply put up a picture type uh, type of information and communicate that. Keep them updated, especially this week. If you're a restaurant, perhaps the 19 areas opening, um, on, on May 17, keep them uh, informed, right? Communicate. No one will buy from you if you don't know that you're open or what you're offering. No one will buy from you if they don't know, it, you know, it's simple and safe, right, to, to, to buy from you. People are more likely to buy from you if they know you help others. So keep them informed, 
Now, probably you ask yourself, but Leo, how, how can I communicate uh, with my clients? Well, the reality is that you should have started a long time ago. With the clients that I work with, I do have I do offer digital marketing services. With the client that I work with, we build a database of customers that, that buy from us. The reason why is because these, if customers buy from us, they know us like us and trust us, right? And so if something happens, we simply come, put an email together and push information out. Or we simply come, put information together and we push it out to different channels, right? You can use text, you can use messages on Facebook, you can use email, you can use advertising, posting on social media. There's so many things you can build. The, import the important thing is that you start building some type of channel now, and then obviously you, you build up other channels. It's key to have that communication going with your clients. Uh, <clears throat> Some things that you can start doing is putting together is, is some announcement, right? Uh, you can leverage tools like Facebook. Simply post something on Facebook. Now, depending on the number of people that are connected to your page, they're going to uh, be aware of that information. Or you can take the post and start sharing it with your personal connection. Or you can start sharing it on your local uh, groups. Uh, I know I there's businesses that probably say, well, I don't, I don't want to use my personal connection. Well, that's fine. Don't do it. But keep in mind other businesses that are hungry that need to keep in payroll their customer, their 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 employees, they, they are going to take those customers and, and do whatever it takes to uh, get, keep the business afloat. Other stuff you can use is use Yelp, right? Yelp is great for businesses. Um, to keep the information out there. There's so many people on Yelp researching local services and, and, and products and food that you need to be in here. Now, obviously, I also hear from, from business owners, so oh, I don't like Yelp. It's put by review on my business or it does this, it does that, whatever. I manage Yelp pages and they don't pay me. Yelp doesn't pay me, pay me to do this. I simply manage and use Yelp because I know it helps the businesses that I work with increase their local visibility because I look at the data behind this and I can see uh, restaurants, right? I can see the business that I work with, the amount of people that find, the, the come and visit the Yelp page that calls from Yelp, that the business, that, that, that asks for direction to the business. So I know Yelp helps and we're not even using the, Advertising, we're just simply using the, the, the free version. And as you can see, reviews is still pretty good. This is just one example of a business I manage. Um, they are allowing you right now during COVID-19 to uh, do some free upgrades, like put stuff uh, post, right? Uh, offer that you may have. Uh, again, I can care less about Yelp. They don't pay me to do this, they should. Uh, but that's just a, as, a, as a resource that you have there that you can use for free. Another big resource you can use for free especially if you're a local business, is good my business. Simply, uh, this is what's going to allow you to show up on the map so that customers can find you, right? If you're not on, the, on, the, on Google Map, customers are going to have a hard time finding you. Uh, people use Google to search for... 90% uh, of people that are searching for something on their mobile device or um, on the computer uses the... Google, it uses Google to, to find local services and products. So you definitely want to reach that market that 90% of people uses, right, to do the search. You simply pull up their phone, they want something, uh, and, and they go and search it. So definitely uh, have a profile here uh, and also take advantage of it because it allows you to also post events, updates that your customers can see as well. So those are some free ones. Now, something I'm doing during COVID-19 uh, is I'm helping five businesses at a time that don't have a big online presence or don't have an online presence at all. I'm doing this for free, okay? I'm helping them create profiles like this one so that it increases the visibility of your business or I'm helping them optimize the profiles of your business. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm also going to throw in there a free website. It's a simple website, right? So I'm simply Google um, website. If you want something more complicated, more complex than that, and more professional, definitely we can work on that separately. But I'm throwing a, a, a website again. It's gonna be totally free. I do need to collect some information from you, um, but that's about it. And I'm doing it totally free. 
uh, I can only help five businesses at a time. We can talk more and see if you're interested. All you need to do is come to digitaltrack.co to see how you can get in contact with me. You can either call or text this number over here, 707-410-0307, or you can come and scroll down and find my email or links to connect with me on social media. All right, have a good one. Please share this with uh, someone that you know may, may be, uh, be useful to that person. All right, have a good one.